Did you see what Florida Governor Ron DeSantis just did? But DeSantis has sent migrants on a plane to Martha's Vineyard. Now, this is where the Obamas have a home, Oprah, Beyonce, even James Taylor, who's going to be seeing fire, rain and migrants. Uh, not to mention Rosie O'Donnell. I mean, everybody basically that you know on the left has a home there. That's right. He just sent two plane loads of illegal immigrants, not to New York, not to D.C., not to Chicago, but to the bougie exclusive confines of every socialist millionaire's favorite vacation spot, Martha's Vineyard. Now, CNN reacted in their usual fashion. They were interviewing liberal filmmaker Ken Burns about his new documentary about the Holocaust, and they said that sending illegal immigrants to Martha's Vineyard is pretty much the same thing. We woke up to the news this morning that Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida sent two plane loads of migrants uh, to Martha's Vineyard off the coast of Massachusetts, including kids and whatnot. And I'm not saying this is not a one for one. This is not a parallel here in any way. But it does address some of the same themes. Ooh, the same themes. But our favorite reaction comes from liberal activist Mark Russell, who said, I'd take 100 migrants any day of the week over 100 DeSantis voters. Ooh, sick burn. But just a few moments later, Mr. Russell decided to revise and extend his remarks, and he turned from compassionate, caring liberal to not-in-my-backyard racist in the blink of an eye. Not personally, but I would take a thousand of them into my state over another thousand Republicans domestic terrorists. Oh, we see you, Mark. Oh, and speaking of backyards, look what just happened in Vice President Kamala Harris's front yard. And Vice President Harris uh, said that the border is closed. Is the border closed? Do you believe that the border is closed or is it open? It's open, not closed. The border is open. The border is open. Do you believe that all the migrants believe that the border is open? Yeah, everybody believes that the border is open. It's open because we enter, we come in, yes. free, no problem. And, and But it's open for you to come illegally, right? Illegally, yes, illegally, that's true. And you came illegally? Yeah, we came illegally, not legal. Two more busloads of illegal immigrants bust from Texas by Governor Greg Abbott to the front door of Vice President Kamala Harris's residence in D.C. Now, this just comes a couple of days after Kamala Harris incredulously assured Chuck Todd and the rest of America that the border is secure. We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. This is so weird. I mean, it seems like only yesterday Kamala Harris was telling everyone down in South America, what was it again? Do not come. Do not come. And now they're doing a little early trick-or-treating right on her doorstep.